Hi, science teachers. Welcome to Real Science Challenge. I'm Kent Louie, teaching science and broadcasting from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. And to all of you out there, thanks for doing an awesome job teaching your students. Now, today is an episode of EdLab, where I share something I want to try or have tried for the first time with my students. And this year, to get to know my students better, I want to connect through music. Now, music is one of those things that most people have an emotional connection with, whether it be through a song about heartbreak or one that gets them out of bed in the morning. You know, I may not be able to connect with students over sports or television or a whole bunch of other interests they may have, but I connect through music. And in a minute, I'll go over how I use music to get my students to practice their analyzing skills this year. If you've done something like this before, or I'm trying this with your class, please let me know how it went in the comments section below. For all handouts, please go to realsciencechallenge.com EP11 and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So here's the story. Last year, I got to know three students who sat close to my desk and who regularly hummed or sang songs quietly while they worked. So one day, I asked them for a list of songs they could recommend me to listen to. You know, basically I said, I'm an old teacher who would like to know what you youngins are listening to these days. I didn't say it exactly in those words, but something like that. I was pleasantly surprised with what followed. They basically created a long list of songs. And not only that, they highlighted some songs I must listen to. Songs like Old Town Road by Lil Nas X and Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. And if you're curious, I do know who Lil Nas X is. Not so much Olivia Rodrigo, though. You know, they came to me after school every day and asked afterwards when I listened to these songs yet. And... They were really curious as to what my opinion was. Now later, I shared these recommendations with some students in a second class. And surprisingly, a couple of students from this second class was also interested and gave me a list of musical recommendations too. Now this connection with music and willingness for people to share made me think about using music more often in my class this year. So this year, as part of a getting to know you exercise and to practice CER, I told students about YouTube, Spotify, and TikTok's algorithms and how they were able to accurately predict other songs or videos I would like to watch based on what I've previously viewed, my personality, and my interests. I told my students to pretend for a second that they were the algorithm and to try to predict the songs I like to listen to. I showed them three playlists I created, and here are those playlists. Playlist number one has some Guns N' Roses. Playlist number two has some Kanye West. And playlist number three has songs from some boy bands. And then I told them to predict which playlist is the one that I actually listen to heavily, the other two not so much. You know, we listened to clips of each song before they started because some students just didn't know the songs. And we even played a short game of 20 questions for them to get to know me better. Then I gave them five minutes to come up with a conclusion as to which playlist was my number one playlist. And I told them to explain their choice using CER or claim evidence reasoning and to use their observations of me as their evidence. This is what some of the students wrote about me or my playlist preference. One student said, I claim that Mr. Louis listens to playlist one the most because he said that he listens to the radio a lot and the songs in playlist one are frequently on the radio. He said he likes melody, then listens to lyrics, and most of the songs in playlist one have good catchy melodies. Mr. Louis also said he preferred no slang and the songs in Playlist 1 lack slang. Since most of the songs in Playlist 1 match Mr. Louis' preference for music, that's why I reason it's Playlist 1. Another student wrote, 
I believe Mr. Louis's playlist is playlist number two. The evidence behind my decision is based off of Mr. Louis's answers of the 20 questions. I also looked at how popular slash relevant the songs are today. I looked how closely related the songs are to Mr. Louis. Mr. Louis mentioned that he tends to listen to multiple genres of music. In my opinion, Playlist 2 has the most variance in music. Playlist 2 also has Gold Digger by Kanye West, which is a rap song. Mr. Louis mentioned he likes rap, which I do. Finally, a third student wrote, I believe Mr. Louis listens to Playlist 3. If Mr. Louis finds his songs mostly from the radio and has said that the song It's Gonna Be Me by NSYNC is still on the radio, then the most likely playlist is 3. Mr. Louis listens to these songs a lot when driving and has stated that he likes the idea of boy bands, which I do. If you must know, Playlist 3 is actually the right answer. And, but more importantly, my students had a lot of fun doing this exercise. And it was fun to watch them analyze the data, ask questions, communicate their conclusion, get to know me, and connect with some music. As a follow-up, I asked students to write down five songs that they really connect with and to hand those in to me. Tune in for a future episode to find out how I use those submissions in another exercise. That's it for this episode. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. And remember to science everywhere, every day.